Of the 10 poorest counties in the United States, more than half fall on Native American tribal lands in North and South Dakota. But these Great Plains reservations, once thought valueless, are the Saudi Arabia of reliable wind energy, an untapped resource that can power the country while empowering the people. The tribes know the value of the wind and are uniting as never before to build the largest utility-grade wind installation in the U.S. Americans want renewable energy, but it's a tricky business. Wind energy takes a big investment to build and more to distribute to the people who want it. Traditional financing methods are too costly. Crippling equity returns and dividend payments can make the energy too expensive, and the tribes are denied ownership and control. That's why these Sioux tribes join together to form a multi-tribal public power authority and issue bonds. Anyone can buy bonds. It's a safe investment, and the interest paid back is reasonable. Also, full ownership of the wind turbines and other assets remain with the Sioux Nation. As a bonus, the lower cost of bond financing means that these Native American tribes don't need tax credits for the project to work. Some wind projects are at the mercy of production tax credits and therefore the whims of Congress, but the multi-tribal power authority doesn't need them. While the world is getting hotter, reliance on fossil fuels isn't going down. More than ever, people must think about the long-term effects on their children and their children's children. When future generations look at what we built, what will they see? Pipelines or turbines? By uniting, going big, and issuing bonds, the Sioux tribes can deliver sustainable wind energy far and wide and to more communities, build political clout, and run a world-class operation. Please join us by pledging your support at SiouxWind.org.